Alrighty y'all, welcome back to another video. It is episode 3 of us just starting out with the truck and axe on FS22 here. It is still just me by myself, and I'm probably going to keep the series by myself, but if LJ decides to join, he can join. Like I said in the last episode, uh, I've recorded the first episode and second episode right before this, so I haven't had time to read comments because it is still September the 5th. I'm trying to get as many videos recorded in one night as I can because Farming Simulator, it ain't, I don't have to redo an intro 15 times. But, I still was going to go to bed, in RP-wise, but I actually got a nice little log pile here. I mean, it don't look like a lot, but this is actually like three to four trees. And the trailer is still fully loaded, as y'all remember. Uh, I decided to cut some grass a little bit, so wait, all this is nice and clean. Missed spot. All this is nice and clean. we got two stumps from the two trees I've cut new. And I wanted to make sure that we have a nice little clean area we can see everything and... We've put a good little chunk here. I'm hoping today, this cellar here, we can get a nice little shop, a little shed, something. Uh, we got, so the last episode, if you missed it, go check it out. We bought this international here with, well, a farm all, not international. But I'm going to call it international for some reason, y'all. International here with, some, with a lease mulcher on the back. And right here we have a, we have a bush hog and a skid steer. Skid steer might be getting traded out. And we have the leased, uh, by gravel, which I should have bought it. Now thinking about it, but I didn't. So let's go and turn the lights off because they've been on all night. And I'll just turn the run lights on and let's head on into town. Because our bank account is looking at $190 right now, y'all. And, uh, yeah, that ain't cutting if we want to buy things and do everything. So we will, uh, catch you when we get to the sawmill. Alright, y'all, we are about to be pumped to the uh, sawmill here. But I just, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I know this ain't as realistic, I mean, who, who would do this? But it's farm sim, y'all. We're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna overpack it. I mean, is the trailer been pushing the limits? Yeah. 12 grand worth of wood. Ooh, baby. 12 grand right there, y'all, for this that load. And that load was pretty big, so I feel like that's gonna be the most we're gonna get. Actually. We need to look in getting another trailer, of like a bigger trailer, because this one, oh, a dump truck for 18000 Get high sides on it. Wow. Wow, look, it ain't cars, that's nothing to cut. Okay. Oh, we have a gooseneck trailer here, is the thing we need to be looking at. Yeah, that's about the same size as one we got, if not just a little bit longer. Yeah, you know what, we'll just keep this for the time being, and we'll go load up the next load. So we'll catch you back at the sawmill when we load up the load. I'm gonna do it real quick. Okay. Alrighty, y'all, so we're here with truck load two of the day. I mean, it only took me a little bit to go load up. Everything we had sitting there is on the trailer, y'all. So we are gonna go ahead and sell that. And that gave me about, I had 12 grand, that put me 21. That's about nine grand worth of wood right there, y'all. That's pretty good, y'all. So we are sitting at a solid $21,000. How much is a good skid steer? Because the one I got is not gonna work much longer, y'all. So we can sell mine for 3,400 bucks at the moment. And if we go to skid steers, um, looks like the cheapest one. That's got 74 horsepower. The cheapest one's like 65 or that one, but that one's like really small, so I don't know if that one's gonna work for what we got going on. But I can lease it for 3,000. And I can get a John Deere with, which I like to actually like the John Deere one way better. Um, and what can we get in here? No, we don't. We don't need to look in there. I need to get out of that section. Uh, what do we need to really buy, y'all? I mean, we need to really keep making money. But, how much is a plow? Because I ha how much does my current tractor have? So, it does have 300 horsepower. So, if we go look at plows real quick, y'all, we're going to find out what we can buy. I like to look at these ones. So, looks like 17 is that. We have a 10,000 one for this little thing, but that's too small. That's small. I mean, it looks like the best one we're gonna get. That's 58. 
Really looks like this is the best. Oh, that's pretty expensive too. So seventeen thousand. That ain't gonna cut it out. And if we add more, which we can make it to a four point nine mil, twenty three thousand. That ain't gonna cut it because I need to probably go back and clear some more land. So y'all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cut down some more trees, and we'll catch you back for truckload three because twenty one thousand. Ain't gonna cut it. We might end up taking a line out. So, oh, by the way, I'm talking to Hunter on the phone right now, y'all. But, I'm gonna keep talking to him, and we are going to keep on cutting trees, and we'll catch you for truckload three. If I don't get my trailer stuck around a lot, just catch you for truckload three. Alrighty, as y'all can tell by time, it's been a while. I've actually been get, collecting a bunch of trees. I've cut down at least 15 trees, got them all nice, organized, and ready to be chopped, uh, ready to be loaded onto the trailer. Okay, so about nine grand for that one. And um, I've been loading them nice and neat, so I way like, well, stacking them nice and neat, so I can grab and put them on the trailer, grab and put them on the trailer. I have a spot for little twigs. We're actually go back. We're actually probably going to get two more loads out of this, maybe, maybe three. If not, if not, if it's more than three, four. Because I've cut down a bunch of trees, and, ooh, we are hitting. Got to mess up the trailer there a little bit. We are down to three quarters of a tank, but we have been doing a lot of work. I haven't cut, I haven't, like, cleaned up any stumps or anything. I've just been cutting, moving. You've seen in the time lapse is how I've done it in the last episode. Jesus Christ, I was wrecked. You've seen how I did in the last episode. I picked the whole tree up, move it, cut it, link, and that's what I've been doing. And now it's all nice, stacked nice and neatly. Uh, I think we're about, yeah, here we are. I was about to say we have to be getting close. See, look at all that nice little stackery there. Yeah, the truck is starting to get a little filthy. But we're starting to get this area cleaned up, so we might be able to buy a shed today, maybe even a plow, which. I'm aiming for a plow, really. So we'll park it right here. And we'll go ahead and get the, uh, get the twigs loaded up. That's what I call these ones. I call these the twigs, because they're the end of the tree. Actually, you can see how many I've been cutting, actually, because these are all. So we got one, two, three, four, five, about seven here. So you can... This I just keep all the twigs so it's nice and loaded, and these are light, so I can actually pick these up. So, all right, so let me go ahead and try and get that in there somehow. I'm trying to get like twist how I've been doing it. I've been doing it. Oh lord, it's freaking out. And we just have to work with it, I guess, huh? Yeah, we just gotta work with it. So we'll end up cutting more of them off and throwing them in the bed here. But we're gonna go ahead and load this truck up again. And we'll catch you for the fourth load of the day. Alrighty, we got the fourth load of the day here. It is 12.50, it looks like we got some rain in the forecast. This episode looks like it's just gonna be us transporting wood constantly. $7,000 worth of wood. That ain't bad at all. Now we do probably got well, maybe one more load left. And I'll probably end up doing it. So, we'll catch you for the final load of the day. And with this load, we'll make the final load of the day. All the trees at camp that I have cut down are now gone after I hit the sell button here. And I'll be happy. Another $8,000 worth of wood. And I gotta try and hit that in the cell area so I can sell it. Because I don't want to use my super strength. There we go. We're good. Yeah, 500 for each to go in. That ain't bad at all. Alright, let's see what we can buy. We need to go ahead and buy something. So it's probably going to be best if I... I really need, how much is a cedar? Okay. Let's go buy a plow. We'll buy a plow. Well, at least, we'll lease one at least. 
So I need to get on that. Like something like well, this one's only twenty three thousand. This one ain't bad at all. If I can lease it, I don't have a tractor with me at the pro right now. It's a problem. Well, we'll go pick up our tractor. I'll we'll go pick up our tractor, get that back to the farm, and we'll catch. You. Well, we gotta see what else. I want to change skid steers out just because like. What I got now ain't gonna work. How much? So that one's 65. This one's 59. 72 versus 85. Yeah, this one's. I definitely want tracks. I definitely want the weights. Tinted glass. Alright, so it comes out to 75 total. This one, for these tracks, is 5,000 more, so it's basically a truckload. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I'm definitely going to get that plow, go back get the tractor, and we'll make our first field and see where we're at after that. So we will catch you when we uh, have a plow on the trailer. Alright, so as you can tell, the time we ended up by the plant plow we got here, we had some issues. The other one was a little too heavy for this thing. It wouldn't, it was, was not able to pick it up. So, lower it. There we go. No, there we go. Aha! Ha. We're gonna work a plow today, boys. This field is not gonna be straight or, or anything at all. It's just gonna be a nice small field. Something we can work with. Get, it, get some seed in the ground. These things, they will get bigger. Cause I'm gonna over here cut all this off camera. When I get when it gets off camera, y'all, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is putting all this down and getting it stacked up, and I'll make a video of selling it on camera at least. So, uh, probably like something like this big, probably. And then we start circling around. I don't want nothing too big. I just want something a good size. I don't want nothing too small either. Like we'll probably end up making this nicer and everything. Not sure what we're going to do. But we're going to go ahead and hop into a time lapse. Because I'm probably going to make this thing a lot bigger than what it is now. Probably cut some trees down. Move them over with the skid steer. So. We'll find out what happens in the time lapse, but this is going to be it for today's video. So enjoy the time lapse. Call me back. I just got in my room. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see what happened to call me back. I was fixing to. <laughs> but I just got in my room. Uh, okay. Huh. Hey, why you got my tractor? I got that tractor on my farm too. I like it because it's got the other horsepower. <laughs> yeah. And it's a small tractor and it's cheap. 
do what? It's cheap, and you, if you couldn't tell, I'm on a budget. Yeah, no. Were you doing a logging series? Well, uh, no, I started off with just a truck and an axe. Oh. So basically how I make most of my money, because if you couldn't tell, this is a logging now. I just got my axe and a truck. And now I have, a, now I have, with just then tonight, within three hours, I have a skid steer. I have a skid steer I own, I own a tractor, I own a trailer, I own a truck. I leased a, I own a mower, like a bush hog for a skid steer. I leased a plow. I leased a, uh log thing, grapple hook thing, whatever you want to call that thing, and uh, at least a mulcher, so I can cut the stumps down. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah interesting, huh? Yeah, I started off with zero dollars. Zero dollars. Just a little bit of land. And I own, uh, I own a pickup truck, an axe. And zero dollars to my name. Yeah. Wow. Sounds something like we did before. Yeah, but that, that we uh, kind of did all those things with that thing, you know? Yeah, that you mean. What you kind of did? Well, what do you mean what I kind of did? You hurt. Well, what I do? Add money. Huh? Add money. Wait, wait, what? You added money. Oh, yeah. Well, this one, like, about PC, I, I was able to set it to zero dollars. That's a good thing about PC. Yeah. Hold on, let me do a little thing. Let me... Alrighty, y'all, we have finished doing a little bit of plowing. Our field's a good size, but we are going to have to go pick up a... Uh... Sorry about the mic, y'all, sorry. We are going to pick up a cultivator, but I might... I'm going to try and get a cedar here, buy a cedar, and uh, get some seed in it. So we are actually just going to do this right here, y'all. So we're going to press Shift and Alt and S. And we're going to see what we can buy here because we are definitely going to be buying a cedar. So if we go to cedars, what's the cheapest one? Let's go to the modded ones. Let's see what the cheapest modded one is. So it looks like six grand. We can get a nice little five mil. Okay, find me. Yeah, let's go with the standard. We don't need nothing special. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And we'll go to pallets. And we'll pick us up some seed. Where is seed? And which one's the most? We'll get about two of these, maybe. Well, we'll just get three, just be safe. So we don't own the plow, so we're going to set the plow right here for now. There we go. Don't mind how I had, a, how I did all this, y'all. The reason why I put the store here is just makes it easier. Um, let me go back up and we'll get some seed in here. Uh, let's see what we can plant, y'all. I am curious what we can plant. Uh, where's the menu? I know there's a menu in here telling me what I can and can't plant. There it is. Alright, so planting season for wheat. Can I plant soybeans? No, I cannot. It's harvest season for them. Um, looks like we're going to be doing wheat, it looks like. Yeah, wheat or barley, which I rather do wheat because then I can do bales. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do over here. And we gotta make sure we don't go in our area right here because that ain't dirt. That's actually plowed up with just how the mulcher is. So let's lower it. Let's close the thing. Thought we gotta unfold it. Uh, I'm confused. Are you working? Oh, it is working. There we go. 
So, we will get a rock pick at some point, y'all. Pick up all the rocks. I don't know when that will been. I'm still on the phone with Hunter, y'all, so. We still talking here and there, but I'm trying to get him to get a PC as soon as he gets one. The series will be better. We might bring back the 1980 series, like I said in episode one or two. I'm not sure what episode it was. From, oh, I missed some right there. Let me go move this piece of wood. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah, I did say it, but like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and clear some of this land over here behind me, so we can get some money, keep coming in. Cause you know, we need to get some more equipment, cause this ain't gonna cut it. Leasing the equipment is fine, but I'm not a big fan of. I like to at least own it all. So we own the cedar at least, so at least we own something with farming. I mean, it is what it is. Well, we can cut some, when we clear all that out, we'll cut some grass and get some straw bales, and we'll, well, hay bales, not straw bales. And we can sell it. We'll get a rock picker here soon and pick up all the rocks, but for the first few harvests, I'm not going to worry about it. I mean... There's a lot more options I have turned on than what I normally do on my farming. I normally have no rocks, no weeds, any of that. All that is turned on. I might, I might turn the weeds off just because they're weeds and they're a pain in the butt to deal with. And it's not cheap necessarily either. But this seed is doing pretty good, y'all. I mean, it looks like it took one pallet. Well, not even, not even one pallet. And so, we're going to have plenty of seed left over. Definitely, my goal for next episode is see how long this is going to take to grow maybe build me a little house or something like over there so that's what I might do off camera I might clear up um, all the land for me to be able to do that because with all these trees that ain't going to work necessarily so I'm going to go ahead and get this nice little area done right here and this video should be about 20 minutes long I'm not sure how long it is I'm hoping I get the first episode out tonight, because like I said, I've recorded three episodes tonight. You're seeing episode one, two, and this episode, which is three, all in the same night, September 5th, 2024, at about 10 o'clock right now. We started this at 7. So, you know, it is what it is. I want to get content out. I haven't made a video in a while, and all I've been doing is 5M, so I'm kind of taking a break from 5M. I actually haven't played 5M in a while. Like I said in episode 1. I'm hoping y'all see this video on like a Wednesday. Oh, should be like September 89. Should be like the 11th. I'm hoping y'all see this video. So it, ain't, it won't be too far behind. Alright. I do want to get in the shed at some point. But we'll go ahead and back the cedar over here. Because as y'all can see we are done with that part for now. Definitely want to get rid of the uh this electric cat thing whatever, whatever case skid steer it's a nice skid steer i wish it had sound it does everything i need it to just don't have enough sound but we got some seed in the ground y'all so we made a lot of progress we cleaned all this up within three episodes and we are not sitting at zero dollars or a hundred bucks we are actually sitting at thirty five thousand dollars which sounds like a lot but in farm sim it really ain't a lot just ask hunter hunter is that a lot in farm sim no? Not at all, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Well, y'all, for me, starting with this pickup truck and axe, man, basically this trailer, because I bought the trailer within the first load, it's a pretty good deal. Let's actually take a look in the store, y'all, and see what we own. So, the plow is leased, the um, mulcher thing is leased, and the bucket for the skid steer is leased. We own the International, we own the the skid steer, we, we own the truck, we own the cedar, we own our axe, we own our mower, and we own our little low boy. As you can tell, everything's cheap. 3000 truck was 16000 but truck was kind of my parents' thing. Parents said, pass high school, you got it. Pass high school. Look at me, I'm out here, in the, out here in the wilderness trying to figure out what I can do. But hopefully by episode 5, y'all. Yes, I said episode 5. We're still doing episode 4 because that's how episodes work. Episode 5, we hopefully we got some buildings up. If not, even episode 4, I would love to have a building up or something. Because I got the money too. So, with that being said, I'm going to stop talking to y'all. And I'm going to get back to cutting trees over there and blowing up, get them all loaded up. I'll make sure I, uh, 
I record the uh, me selling process so we see how much we make every time. But we'll catch you in episode four. Later, y'all.